All right. Uh, g'day, fellas. Um, today, this is going to be a beginner's guide and sort of intermediary guide on how to use your storage system, how to automate the sorting, how to use regex, um, and how to customize your tabs. So let's get straight into it. Um, so once you open up your stash, I've obviously got some tabs made. You are greeted with this lovely screen. Um, what I would recommend, so you've got your categories. This is the top, right? And under the categories, you can place subcategories. So for instance, uniques, I've got heads, boots, relics, you know, so on and so forth. Um, under LP, we'll get into that after, but you can see you can add in your subcategories to each category. Okay. Categories do not cost anything to make. All right. But the tabs below do. Okay. They're, they're currently up to 65 K for me. Um, it's an escalating price. You can have up to 200 tabs in this game, I believe, unless they changed it, but I, I'm pretty sure it's 200. So lots of room to store lots of stuff so let's get into the basics of how i like to set it up and the first thing we're going to go over is setting up an automated stash okay and we'll also go through the customization of your tabs to make them look nice so the first thing i like to make when i'm starting out is a drop box so this box is where you will shift click like for instance the sword into the Dropbox. Now, if I have set up the sorting system correctly, the sword will never go into this box. It will get sorted to the correct page. Um, this is just a good way to have a setup that when you don't have something categorized to be sorted, it goes in this tab and it reminds you, hey, I need to make a section for this at some point so that it can be auto sorted. So all of this stuff, like the dagger, the unique daggers, um, unique two handed swords, I, I haven't got a category set up for them to be auto sorted yet. And same with normal swords. I'm going to use these as an example. You can see they go into the drop box, but that's not what we want to happen. So step one, make yourself a drop box category. And then buy a tab for inside the category. Okay. Next, we want to set up our first auto sorting stash tab. So let's head on over to the uniques tab that I've got created here. You can create whatever category names you want. This is just how I like to have it set up. So we will click on the unique tab. And then we will go to the end and I have pre-purchased tab 22. Okay. This has nothing in it, nothing done to it. So the next stage is we right click on this tab and it brings up this menu. Now you get to pick what you want to call it first of all. So we are going to just put in one hand swords. Okay. Um, then you can pick a, so you can swap the category if you're, if you put the tab in the wrong category by accident. Um, but then you can pick a color. So I'm going to go color and then why not? I'm going to put a sword icon on it as well. Okay. Then from here, the next part is how we get it to auto sort. So you come down to tab priorities, check this box. And then you're greeted with this window. This is all the requirements you can add to something to make it automatically sort. Okay. So for this item, it's just going to be standard unique swords will get put into this box. So we are going to come under uniques here and we are going to look for the one handed swords. There they are. You can come in and further customize. Maybe you only want certain swords to go into this box, but for this video, we're going to do all one handed 
unique swords. So we're going to hit confirm. And then that is set there. And that's it. Right? Unique one handed swords. And confirm. And now you can see the color has changed. So now when I come over to our drop tab again and I shift right click these swords into here, you will see they are not appearing in the tab anymore. So if we head over to our Uniques tab, to the tab we just made, one-handed swords, you can now see they are all in here. Okay. The next thing I wanted to explain is the search features for the game. Um, actually, before we get into that, I'll just go over quickly. Um, so this is my idle tab. It's not very organized. I've got two idle tabs here because I just pick up whatever. Okay, so that's the category. And then if we come down here, you can see under here, we don't select uniques, okay, because these are idols. So we went to type instead. We came in here, idols. You can come in and select the types of idols you want. But once again, I'm just doing all idols and that will automatically sort all your idols as well. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So the next thing is the search feature. The search feature for Last Epoch is great. A lot of people see the search bar down here and they're like, okay, I can just type things in. So like sword, there's no swords on this page. So how do I find my swords? Easier, because I've got so many tabs. Well, there is up, if you follow my mouse pointer up here to this button right here, we now have a new search bar at the top with all of our tabs. Now, if we type in sword, it hides all the tabs that don't meet the requirement with the search feature sword. So if I go to the drop tab, it's highlighting the two-handed swords. Um, if I go to the belts, it's actually highlighting this because it has the word sword in one of the affixes. And it takes us to our sword tab that we made earlier. Now, this search feature can get quite technical because they recently added in, added in regex to the game. And regex is like a sort of way to code your words to create a search feature. So for instance, let's say we wanted to look for primalist set items and maybe what, what item do we want to look for? Um, maybe a helmet. Okay. So I would want to type in Okay, so that is what we want to type in, set and primalist. And now you can see it's only showing up the primalist headpiece. Now, I myself do not know all the commands for regex. I've, I'm fairly new to it. So there is actually a great tool that someone has made specifically for Last Epoch. I'll bring it on the screen here. And that is this one. So you can come in and say, set up whatever you want to look for. So let's say you're looking for a set item that's for a mage and that's all you want to look for. Green set items for mage. You come down to the bottom, you copy the text, you head over to your game, you paste it in. We don't have any set items for mage. But that's how it works. Okay, and you can do things like uh, uh, tier affix searches. You can you can add in a bunch of different modifiers to your search. So let me just pull that up once again real quick. We could completely remove this and say that we just want to look for uh, two uh, at least tier six affixes. Okay, 
So we copy this, boom, and then we put that in here. Now there is no set items with two tier two, uh, two tier affixes because I forgot to remove the set checkbox, but two T six plus and T six plus. <laughs> and then if you come to your, my Dropbox, it says there's one in here. So there we go. There is two tier six plus affixes. So we've got the tier six mana and the tier seven increased dodge rating. Okay. So that is how that works. So hopefully that helps you. The main takeaways I want you to have from this is category, then the more specifics. So category unique, specific head, boots, belt, relic, amulet, blah, blah, blah. You could do the same for idols. You could do primalist idols, sentinel idols, you know, um, you could pick the slot, how many slots they take up, sort them into their own categories, set items, you could put them in their own, um, all of that. Uh, the next thing I would say is don't bother using the search feature that's at the bottom of the screen down here where my mouse cursor is. Always open this one, okay, and use this one because it hides things that we don't want to see. So now all of these items have something to do with health on them. And you can see they're all grayed out if they don't have health on them. Okay. And that is the video. Hopefully that um, helps a bunch of you new players out with how the stash system kind of works. And you can play around with your own custom setups and your own custom automated sorting features and get that stash looking good all right guys i will catch you in the next video like subscribe and peace